morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the Lottery Regulator Press Conference. That's the National Lotteries Commission. That is our job because we do understand that from time to time you confuse us with those guys who run the numbers. So what we do, we give them the license and then we regulate their activities in order to protect you. My name is Ndibu Mafera. I am a staffer of the National Lotteries Commission. We don't plan to keep you here for unnecessarily long. What we are going to do is that we will ask the chairperson of the board, not now, Prof. Chengizini Alfred Nebutanda, to give you a high level of our activities. After that, we'll get our commissioner, Neman Pane, to actually read the statement that you are all here for. And then after that, we'll take questions and comments. Uh, let me not waste your time and uh, ask Prof, the chairperson of the board of the NLC, to come and give you a few words. Prof. Thank you very much, uh, <clears throat> my fellow uh, colleagues from the uh, National Lotteries Commission. Well, the entire board is not here today. It is in uh, Western Cape. They are meeting the gambling board of Western Cape in order to harmonize the activities of the gaming regulators in South Africa because we have seen that we are talking in, in terms. Media, uh, friends who are here, thank you very much for coming to listen to our statement. National Lotteries Commission, as you know, it started as a National Lotteries Board uh, through the act that was pro uh, promulgated in 1997 by Parliament of South Africa. After they realized that uh, the civil society movement is only relying on funding from outside and funding from outside, some of the funding came with stringent conditions. It's either you, uh, you push their agenda or you miss out. The National Notaries Commission, as it celebrates the 20 years, it is the organization that is run by a very smallest board in all the entities that I know. Only six members that are appointed as independent, non-executive directors, and one member from the Ministry of the Department of Trade and Industry. We, myself, I started in uh, 2009, around December, and some uh, on the way, uh, because of the license, the minister made some extension so that we can finish the awarding of the license. Why? Because that license is an 85 billion tender. Therefore, it must be treated with the sensitivity it deserves. We have gone a long way. We have got two mandates as stipulated in the Acts. 
the National Lotteries Act, which is amended. It, it has been amended uh, in 2015. Our job is to regulate lottery. To regulate lotteries and sports pools. The issue of regulation targets only one national lottery. So in South Africa, South Africa opted for a national lottery, which must be the pride of the nation. Other lotteries uh, we are referring to, lotteries that may come from organizations that want to raise funds. We call them incidental lotteries. That is the first function. The second function is grant funding. After collecting the money that belongs to the state, then you must make grants to the deserving organizations. And many people, let me say 80% or 90% of people in South Africa, they regard us as a funding organization. We are not a funding organization. We are a regulator. We regulate the national lottery and get the proceeds of national lottery and put them in the trust which is opened uh, by the non-executive directors of the NLC. How it started, the then government contributed a portion of money to start the National Lottery. So National Lottery does not get funding from the state. It, we operate like a company. We make our own money by the license we give to an operator, which is an eight years uh, license to run. We charge the operator a certain percentage that must come to the NLDTF, National Lottery Distribution Trust Fund. Having said the mandate, now, how do we function as the lottery? We advise the minister. That is the principal function. We advise the minister and make sure that the funds are distributed equitably and expeditiously. That is done by the distributing agencies. You see me as a chairperson. We don't interfere in the distribution of the funds. There are other committees that are appointed by the very same minister and come to the National Lottery. And the board gives them the strategic direction. Now, where we are now, we have already distributed billions <coughs> to the beneficiaries. We are celebrating these 20 years knowing that as the NLC, we are so proud that at least more than 20 billion have been distributed to the beneficiaries, the non-profit organizations. We are proud that we have built, in fact, I'm happy that uh, President Ramaphosa, in his state of national address, he made mention that the early childhood education will be moving from social development to the uh, 
the basic education department. We are the first ones to have seen that need. After looking at the statistician general's input, because every year we call the statistician general to come and make a presentation about the poverty in South Africa. We call the Department of Social Development, we call the Department of Sport, the Department of um, uh, Trade and Industry, um, and the Department of Arts and Culture. We are so proud that at least we have made a mark. Some four years ago, we made 500 million dedicated to building of early childhood education across South Africa. And we, we made it in such a manner that every province, not concentrating on provinces which are doing very well, we said every province must get 10 brick and mortar ECD center. Also, 10 edu center in that province. So, as we are talking now, we are having 180 ECD centers that have been built by the National Lotteries Commission. We have built schools, we have supported arts and culture, we have supported agricultural projects, we participated uh, with uh, the SAFA when they were bringing the so soccer spectacular in South Africa. We contributed 171 million to build artificial taps. And my knowledge tells me, which I, I understand, we have built 27 across the country. We have renovated some of the, you know, the stadiums, you go to Umtata Stadium. We went in there and make sure that the stadium becomes a stadium. We have gone so far not walking on a smooth path. No. It was rocky. We were criticized. Uh, certain criticisms uh, came to the chairperson. Criticisms came from all angles. But we were never distracted. We said media is our friends. We will give them everything they want to know. If you want to understand our processes, you can come into our offices. We will take you from when the person lodges an application. Let me tell you something that you will, uh, sometimes if you want to write about it, you, it will be a very good story. When we were having the Indabas, because we call big Indabas, after every after two years. One guy came with an application at the Indaba because we said even those who want to apply, they can come with their envelopes. He, de he deposited the envelope into uh, where our help desk was. Hardly one hour he phoned me because my, my phone is accessible by anyone, even media beneficiaries, because I want to help them. He said, uh, Chairperson, I just want to know how far my project is. <laughs> then I said, when did you submit your project? He said, no, I, sub I, I submitted it today. I said, 
No, we are in the Indaw. <laughs> you must wait until we go back and the distributing agency will wait for the officials to do a due diligence on the application. So I'm just, I'm just letting you know problems that we encounter. Where there is free money, many people interested. You might have seen uh, these days we are, you are given some photos saying um, they, they said they are going to build a, 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 an old age home. There is no old age home. We have pictures of the old age home. Not the ones that we see in the newspapers. And we are, we are very happy that my office and the commissioner's office, they are very, very open to, to show you the progress. We don't want to bore you to give you a lot of projects, but if I were to, uh, uh, to be placed somewhere and the president or the minister, I, will, I can take you to where the projects are today and show you, I did this, I did this. Not me alone, I mean the collective of the National Lotteries Commission, together with our monitoring department, the Department of Trade and Industry. It has been a very good journey, and we, we still uh, going. But bear this in mind. The National Lottery Commission cannot work like a robot. Somewhere in 2015, we decided to say, let's go according to the move in the country. Let's have our areas, the area of focus, whether we want to do agriculture, whether we want to do this and that, then we change the agriculture. I know for sure. One organization which was uh, responsible for breeding dogs, cats, uh, I don't know even, mice, I don't know, uh, came to complain to the National Lottery and it belonged to one journalist. We said, okay, no, no, no. Uh, we have changed the area of focus, but because you are, we are human beings, uh, maybe we didn't do a road show to the satisfaction, we will fund the SPCA, and we funded it. But we are worried that if 20,000 applications come and we only uh, fund 4,000 because we only have 1.5 1, 1 billion. We don't have a lot of money. If an organization is not funded, that's not the end of the road. You will be funded next year. So these are some of the criticisms that we, uh, we receive. And, uh, most of them, if you know how to write English, you may, you may rubbish us uh, if you don't come and ask, why did you do this? But if you come, we'll let you know. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Prof. For IR. Uh, thank you very much, Prof. Uh, if we are to give prof a platform, you guys are not going to leave. We sometimes have our own ways to manage him. That's the passion that he exudes about changing lives. Uh, I will now like to call our commissioner, Matt Habakmampane, to come and give us the statement. Thank you, Jumela. Um, Gee, you forgot that um, vertically challenged. <laughs> thank you. Uh, greetings to you all, and uh, thank you, Mafel. I think uh, you did the most this month. Um, 
maybe it was your way of making sure that uh, you celebrate, you prove to everyone that uh, you recognize women and uh, we're celebrating Women's Month. It's Women's Month. Let me start by wishing the NLC family and including you, members of the media, a great and empowering time during this month. I know it's a month where, as women, we'll be reflecting on how we can change the lives of those who are less fortunate. The National Lotteries Commission has, for the past 20 years, been mandated with regulating lotteries and sports pools to make resources available to fund good causes. Our preoccupation is to change lives. This latter determination has been the driving force behind the NLC since its establishment under the Department of Trade and Industry, the DTI. We regulate lotteries and sports pools to fund worthy courses that are aligned to the broader developmental agenda of the country. And hence, I think the chairman took you through part of the process of what we do when we determine what 